girl came with the hype for one one now recently some of his productions said guess what we've got the 2012 lineup and it pleased some fans and other fans are kind of hoping that there will be more performance to come now starting off on july 15th is the beach party at aquasal theme park and the fans can come out to see dj bambino liquid delana from renaissance dj kentucky dj jigger and miss please there is a sound clash at Pier 1 on July 17th, folks. Yes, it's true, but they haven't quite told us which selectors are going to be there yet. I know y'all excited about the event. Anywho, now taking place at the main venue in Mobay for the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night shows, which as usual are Dancehall Night and International Nights 1 and 2. We have Beanie Man, I Octane, Conscience, Popcorn, Sasko, Idonia, Tommy Lee, Spice, Cargo, Zamunda, and many others for Dancehall Night. International Night 1 has the Jamaica 50 tribute with John Holt, Yellow Man, U Roy, Leroy Sibbles, Frankie Paul, Pinchers, and a number of others. Plus, Taras Riley and international RB artist Trey Songs will be on the stage. Now, closing off the festival, you know it's International Night 2. The audience gets to see Damian Marley, Third World, Christopher Martin, and a number of others. But guess what? We're sure that's not the left, the, you know, the rest of the lineup. There is more. So you have to keep up with the Reggae Song Fest website and of course, keep it locked right here on Hype for more updates. So the Gaza Prefect, or maybe he's now the ex-Gaza Prefect. Anywho, we're talking about Popcorn, of course, and he's now in Europe for two weeks, performing for his fans in Portugal, France, Sweden, and Switzerland. This is his third European tour, right? But it's the first one he's going as a solo artist because before, he went with, of course, the Portmore Empire. Popcorn explained that this is the tour where his European fans will be treated with the set including Judge of Protect Me, Dream, and of course, all the more current songs that y'all know and love. So far, the feedback from the fans in Europe has been great, and it's dancehall, so you know they love it. And they're excited to get a chance to meet their entertainer. On his return from Europe, he'll be in the Caribbean performing at the St. Kitts Music Festival in Trinidad and Tobago, then back in JA making some special performances throughout the summer at Smudge, Reggae Song Fest, and Dream Weekend. Outside of the performances though, he's been spending a lot of time in the studio and has recently released some new music for TJ Records, UIM, 007 Records and Dre Skull. Of course, you know the fans can check those out on the radio and you can check out the videos here on Hype and keep your ear out for the new ones that are coming in the next few weeks. So this week our fact and history bit is all about the Jolly Boys who have been dubbed the masters of mental. The Jolly Boys have become an integral part of our music and they've been here for 60 years, so you can just imagine. The music has traveled the world and it has left quite an imprint on everyone who's heard it. I'm sure you guys can pick up on who the Jolly Boys is by now, right? Okay, now they came on the map back in 1950, hailing from Port Antonio with Robert Minot, Joseph Bennett, Derek Henry, Alan Swimmer and Egbert Watton and apparently the Jolly Boys name came from Aaron Flynn. And he decided to, you know, give them that name because it defined their mental calypso entertainment style with the unique music coming together and all of that. Yeah. Now, back in 1980s, the Jolly Boys were noted as one of the hottest performers on the island, like they were going like hot bread. And they had several albums, visited numbers of countries, and they'd been noted by critics and music lovers as the most recognizable mental band in the world. Coming straight out of J.A. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Now, between 1989 and 1997, they released a number of albums and continued to tour internationally. Following this, the band began to work closer with G-Jam Studios, yeah, back in Portland, mm -hmm, and came back with quite a twist on their mental sound. From there, the vintage material came together with some current day energy, and that just brought pure magic. We have covers from singles like Rehab by the late Amy Winehouse, and you guys should obviously know that one as well, right? Mm -hmm. Their latest album, No, is Great Expectations, and that's definitely what it's all about. The group has been touring and promoting the project. Okay, hype peeps, I'm your girl Kim, and that's the Hype 411. Shout out to Angels for my outfits. 